Hello guys, hello everybody. I am so sorry for the sound quality of the microphone. I'm using the microphone of my D5300. Guys, I want to show you something. I am doing a render test performance with Final Cut Pro versus Adobe Premiere. Now guys, the same video, the same quality, Final Cut Pro, you can see right there, um, I was using my my phone stopwatch app and guys Final Cut Pro rendered the same video 1920 by 1080p 60 frames per second it's a gameplay it rendered it at 7 minutes and 25 seconds now the video size uh, I'm sorry for the manual focus that I'm doing right here uh, the video it's 7 minutes 7 minutes and 33 seconds now I'm, I am thinking of switching from um, Apple I am thinking from I am thinking of leaving Apple here guys and I am thinking to go into you know the high-end computers now this right here it's the computer that I have for sale I am testing the performance the rendering and yaddy yaddy such and such now guys oh stop now here it is okay so Final Cut Pro rendered the video at 7 minutes and 25 seconds now this right here has <laughs> this is a 2011 computer 21.5 inch it has uh, an AMD 670M graphics card I think it has like uh, 500 megabytes of memory and this this computer right here has the GTX 980 and um, Adobe Premiere Pro utilizes CUDA cores for rendering Mercury Cura yeah as you can see right there I'm sorry take a read of yourself playback engine GPU acceleration CUDA so I was thinking wow I was thinking Man, this computer is going to render uh, this video in two minutes. I mean, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. I got my i5 6600K over clock to 4.6, 1.345 volts. I'm thinking, damn, this computer is going to render it fast. Super, super fast. But you know what, guys? The computer, the program rendered the video at 11 minutes and... Because I said right here, 11 minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> so, let me put this camera here. So guys, what is the final verdict? What do I have to say now? You know what guys, Final Cut Pro, it's the way to go if you want faster render settings. I'm not even going to include, like honestly guys, I'm not even going to include... Vegas Pro. I have it right there too. See? And man, Vegas Pro is a joke. That program took forever to render one minute video, 1920 by 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second, and it's supposed to use as well uh, GPU, CUDA, acceleration. But you know what guys, it's so freaking slow. So, what I think I'm going to end up doing is I think that I'm going to end up upgrading to a MacBook Pro. I mean MacBook Pro, what the hell. I think that I'm going to end up upgrading to a Mac Pro or another i7 with better graphics. I was looking at this one, <clears throat> i7 iMac, a 27 inch 4K, and no actually 21.5 inch 4K and um, there was this other one uh, what is it as uh, yeah 27 inch 5K display so I think that is what I'm going to do I think I'm going to sell this computer or I'm gonna give it to my son so he can play his Minecraft games in here because this computer is decent for light gaming I have tested it before it plays some decent games not crazy FPS of course but it does play Minecraft very well 
So guys, the final verdict of this video. Final Cut Pro, whoops, that high-end computer. But it's not the computer, guys, honestly, because we know that this computer has, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy performance for gaming and stuff like that. Video editing, it performs very well. Now, this computer here kind of... Uh, chugs a little bit, it takes a little bit of time, it's kind of a uh, slow pull when it comes to like sometimes it freezes on me, it's acting up already, but when it comes to Final Cut Pro and the render settings, the rendering times, guys this computer, I mean Final Cut Pro, faster, faster than these programs here. Now Adobe Premiere uh, Pro it's a very, very professional, you know, professional guys, Jays to Sense uses this thing, and some of the other guys uses this program. But honestly, guys, the GPU acceleration on a gaming graphics card, it's very, very slow. <laughs> now, it's funny and it's sad that this old computer can outperform, I mean Final Cut Pro with an old computer can outperform this computer when it comes to renders, uh, render speeds. Anyway guys, so if you're wondering should I switch to Mac for video editing, I have to say one thing. I know a lot of people out there hate Apple computers, I know a lot of people hate, you know, you know Apple products. But I have used this computer since 2011, guys. And I have to say one thing. One thing that I can say. That this computer, guys, until today, it has performed very, very well. I mean, it lags a little bit. It lags a little bit when I'm editing this crazy footage. I mean, 1080p, I mean, 1920, 1080p, 60 frames per second. The hardware of the computer is just outdated so I need a newer computer and I am going to stick again for another five years with an Apple computer which is when I got this computer I got it back in 2000 late 2011 is when I got it and I have to say guys I do not regret buying this computer now right there I have my MacBook Pro I do some video editing here the computer kind of chugs a little bit because it only has 4 gigs of RAM but this MacBook Pro, I mean, it's, you know, I close the lid, it goes to sleep, this is a cover and I wake it up and it's, it wakes up seconds, so, I mean, I have had this computer forever I have my um, gaming setup video and I have had this computer since, woo, uh, late 2011 as well yeah that's when i got it so guys the final verdict I'm, i went off topic final cut pro outperforms adobe premiere pro cc uh, rendering speeds now when it comes to the performance and editing i love the software i love it sony vegas pro i love it so much as well it's very nice to edit with i've been using it for the past freaking five days I've been using this one for the past four days and I have used Final Cut Pro for about three years now two years or three years something like that and I have to say guys Final Cut Pro is still freaking rocking okay guys this is it for today I'm going to give you guys an update whenever I get my computer because I am getting another iMac I really like the performance of Final Cut Pro I'll see you guys next time and I'm sorry for the shaky camera here. I was using that one to make this video, but uh, the battery died. So I had to get my DSLR and I have to freaking, you know, change the autofocus. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Goodbye.